Oscar, we need coffee. What's up, everybody, and welcome. We got our coffee. Today's question is actually from uh, Patrick Gordon. He asks, what's the best uh, dual battery switch for a single engine? And I'm actually here on a job that has a boat that does exactly what I would do for a dual, dual battery setup with a single switch. So let's jump right to it. Here she is, nice pretty blue regal. Let's open her up so we can talk about batteries and switches. All right, we are fired up, opened up. We have this boat is a, well, we got a single switch here with what you call a voltage sensing relay right there. So that's the best way to wire up a dual switch and I'll show you why. All right, let's put five minutes on the clock. So I've drawn a diagram here. We can go back and forth so I can kind of show you what's happening here with the what the VSR does. This is a simplistic way to do it, but uh, it'll basically explain why you should do it this way and what, what the uh, effects of not doing it this way would be. So we are on, so when we turn it on here, it says combined batteries. So this is a dual functioning switch, which means it's taking two batteries, and rather taking the place of two battery switches into one. So you have on and off. This will turn, up, turn on all your systems in the boat no matter what. If you combine them, it's just adding, making both those batteries on the other side into one battery. So we'll leave it on this, on. What that does is isolates your start battery from your engine and your house battery. So it's split off between two legs here. So basically this, this engine battery will never do anything for the house side and the house battery will never do anything for the battery or for the starting side. It's isolated. That way, when you go to start the engine, you don't pull from your house side and shut your electronics off because you got a big voltage draw under nine volts or something. It's a good, good smart way to do it. And then, because unless you combine them when you're running, this battery will not charge. So that's why they add the VSR, which is a voltage sensing relay. As soon as it senses this motor's running, it will start pushing voltage to the house, but it will not back feed. So you'll never be able to pull voltage backwards to your starting battery unless you put this on combined then you're just making one, two batteries into one like I said before so this VSR right here is the trick to just using one battery switch with two batteries that way too if you're ever out there you're jamming your stereo or something like that your house battery can die and your starting battery will always be good and you can just fire it up and you can start charging your house again. Everything will get lit back up. That way you don't have to be so concerned about it. Just because uh, a lot of people will go out there and just not turn stuff on because they're scared if their battery dies, then you have a problem. Which obviously you don't want to get towed in because your battery's dead because you've left something on. Another good thing to do, good practice, which they're doing here, is to have a charger in the boat and always have it plugged in. Because this isn't the only thing now this is the only isolator here you actually have, if you look here, your forward bilge pump, your memory, your aft bilge, your chargers, all these breakers right here are hot all the time. Even with this off, almost every boat will have bilge pumps, stereo memory stuff hooked directly to the battery. And over a long period of time, that will draw your batteries down. So you don't want to do that. This is a bow thruster disconnect, that's just for emergencies. Or if you want to turn it off, you can do it yourself. There's a fuse for it. Another good thing to do is to change your batteries out. I would say in Florida here, because of this hot weather, you get about three years out of them and then they start to fail and then you just want to change them all at the same time. You don't want to just do one battery because you do one, the other one's the same age, it's right behind it. Which time we got? Oh, minute and a half. All right, so the VSR, let's talk about the ground side of this. So. On a battery switch, there's zero grounds. You're only isolating the power. So you never want to hook a ground to a battery switch. That would be a disaster. You'd melt down something in the boat because you're directly connecting power to ground. VSR has two main power connections, but if you read the directions, there'll be one ground that you gotta connect in order for that relay to activate. It has to have a ground for the relay to function. But it's just a little, little 16 millimeter wire or something like that you connect to it. Other than that, you could actually put as many batteries as you wanted on the house side. So you could put two batteries here, 
and connect them to the same switch so you have a big amount of power and still have your starting battery or vice versa. I mean, if you had multiple engines, you could do this with two or three switches if you wanted to, any way you wanted to do it really. So another thing you could do, instead of having one switch, you could do this with two switch, two switches, and you would just put a VSR in between the two switches. So you'd have one right here, and you'd, this leg would be starting, and then you have another switch would be your house switch on this side, and you would just isolate the two, and it would do the same thing as combining them or um, turning them on and off separately. But I like this idea of the uh, Blue Seas uh, dual switch on one circuit, then you have less less components. You really don't need two switches for two batteries in one engine. Another thing too, I'll, say, I'll mention here is Blue Sea, which they're using here. Almost every manufacturer that's got any uh, any uh, you know any good manufacturer like Pursuit Grady White stuff like that, they're going to use Blue Sea components. All the Blue Sea stuff, I would highly recommend buying that prior to uh, buying Perco or any lower function. Um, components. Now, what are we at? Oh, we're at five minutes. So, if there's any other questions about our battery switch here, or VSR, or the setup of this, just hit me up in the comments. Also, comment below if you want any other uh, questions answered or anything like that. As always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. I drew this over and over until I got the right one that I wanted to put on the camera, and that was the winner.